road of Two Bishti. So today we're at Crown Car Wash in Strathfield and we're with Tony here. Hello. Fiona. Welcome Tony. Welcome, thank you. Thank you for being on our channel. Now we're going to be not drilling you with some questions but um, just trying to get a bit of story about um, how you guys got started uh, you know with the car wash and I guess um, you know why your customers sort of like keep coming back and loving you guys so much. Okay. So how long have you been uh, at this location for? Uh, we've been now coming up to about 10 years. Okay wow. Yeah, so, Congratulations. Uh, so this year's 10 years? Uh, yeah, well, we took over in 2010, December. Okay, yeah. I, I was here <coughs> prior to that for about uh, a year running it. Right, okay. So we had to get a feel of the place that I wanted to um, sell. Mm -hmm. um, and the deal was that I'll come in, I'll run it, and uh, get a feel of the place. And yep. then, um, yeah, and then we can go into negotiations. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it ticked all the boxes. So I was here a year and before we took over. So. so 10 years later, here you are. 10 years later, we're here. Driving we're still here. and we're doing still amazing. going good, thank God. So, um, yeah. And uh, what changes have you guys implemented since taking over? Uh, I think there's a lot of improvements that we made with the, um, the building mm -hmm. itself, structure. Um, we just keep improving it, keep changing things just yep. to keep it interesting. Um, you know, if you're making money and, and the business is going well, I mean, I think the customers uh, appreciate you're putting something back into the, Absolutely. Um, into the business and that's what we like to do. I mean, um, yeah, and I think I'll be, we've been blessed with the, the right boys. Yep. So about five of the boys that we've got, we've got about probably 14 in total. And I think about five of them, we've had them since we've started. Wow. Um, so that tells you something that... You it know, does. I think a lot of business owners, uh, from mm -hmm. what our experience has been, said like, you know, the, the main concern is like staffing. You know, especially yeah. like It's uh, very, very difficult in this day and age. So, yeah. like the fact that you have kept five like people for ten years yeah. definitely like speaks to yeah. how you guys are managing this. And you have a loyal customer sitting right oh, here. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. yes. Very loyal. Yeah. She comes in, sits there quietly in the corner. <laughs> <with> the <laughs> very patient. No, that's I all. Come, that's I all. come at seven in the morning, so there's yeah. no one else here. <laughs> My car's first. But yeah, I've been coming for about seven years now. And wow. I can say yeah. It was Thank you. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Indra, so why is it that you keep coming back here? Because like, they're so, so friendly, long. <laughs> and also because Janet is here. And she's like, oh, so it's Janet's your pull, is it? <laughs> well, yeah, I sit here and I have a good yard with her and like, yeah. talk about life and stuff. Alright, so we'll cool. give her a bit of a pay rise now. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Shout out to Janet. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. I mean, look, yeah, so that's uh, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. I, think, I think the business that we, we sort of started on was... Um, Customers were coming in in a hurry, in a rush. Yep, yep. Um, you know, I mean, if you're paying for the for the, for the job to get done, it's all yep. about the quality. It's not yeah. about quantity. Absolutely. So we tried to stay on that for the last few years. Uh, I know sometimes it takes a little bit longer than and people are a little bit impatient because these days everyone's just in a rush. Oh, of course, of course. But we just try to keep that quality up, and I mean, it does take a bit of time, but at least as long as we're giving the customers the um, value for money. Yeah, know, exactly. So. And I think a lot of uh, clients these days, when they think about car wash, they just think churn and burn. But I think you guys do that like a little bit differently. Like you said, you spend that extra like time and you know really provide like value for money yeah. for clients. So, what specific like services do you like provide at the cafe? Meaning in the car wash? In the car wash, yes. Oh, there's you got your basic washes, uh, which is the outside wash. Then you've got the internal, external washes, um, and, and the prices vary from a small sedan to the four-wheel drive. Yep, yep. Um, there's detailing, where people want their their seats steam cleaned or leather cleaned. Yep. Polishes and you know, there's that kind of service where it's a little bit more expensive and a bit more time-consuming, but we get that a lot. Yep. Uh, depending on what the customer wants on their car, I mean, yep. it all comes down to they come here and they just ask us what they want or what they're looking for, and we, we can provide that service. So you don't. Like cleaning no, and detailing, no, no. so you just got that one level, like, like my, extra. My background is uh, for the last 20 years, I was a, I was in the car industry, painting and spray painting and detailing. So the paint part of cars is sort of my backbone profession. Yep, yep. So when customers do come in, I know what I'm offering them, or if they're asking me for something, I know what to mm -hmm. to, 
to give them um, because of the background that I've got yep. um, with, the, with the car industry. My whole my whole life's been in the car industry, so. So obviously, clearly, this is your passion. So it's not, you know. Yeah, well, cars were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, Boys detailing toys, cars, right? painting cars, <laughs> repairing yeah. cars. It's always been in my life, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, it's not something that's you know. I try to upsell the customers if they ask me for my advice or. You know, I'm straight up. If a car needs something, we, we, we tell them that it does need it. If it doesn't, I'm giving them a professional um, uh, feedback. Yep. Yeah. So. And I think you get quite, uh, you know, a prestige caliber of vehicles, like also coming into yeah. this particular like car wash, which yeah. is, you know, not typical of a lot of other like, you know, car washes. Clearly, the clients, you know, trust like yeah. you guys to be, you know, dealing with that, you know, that level of like. Um, yeah. you know their cars so well it all comes down to that I mean like I said it, I mean we can't take all the credit we've got to I've got to give a lot of the credit to, to the boys mm -hmm. to our workers um, yep. I, I don't like saying workers I, I actually call them like um, friends your work family well, when they say to me boss I say don't call me boss, boss call me Tony you know so they know that we've got that relationship going yeah yep. uh, we try to work hands on with them too mm -hmm. to have that sort of respect factor and, um, and I think they appreciate it and I think it shows up in the work and the energy of the place. Absolutely. And um, yeah, and they always got a smile on their face. We try to look after them much as they're looking after us. So it all oh, comes down amazing. to that. It's not all about, I know we're doing this shit. No, no, but it's a good work culture. But it's, it's not a sort of a prompt up. It's, yeah. it's actually, I've got to talk straight up and I've yeah. got to give them most of the credit. Yeah. And we just treat them like how they're yeah, going to totally. be treated. Yeah. They, they, they didn't come here easy. We've had it you know, easier than what they have. They've come from their country. They've left their, their families overseas. Uh, so I sort of respect that. And, and when you when you notice that, you put that back into how you talk to them, how you deal with them, and how you work with them. And they, they feel that energy vibe, and they want to put in the same. Respect you guys. Yeah. That's actually a very good, uh, very good point. That's how I look at it. So yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had customers here. Very rarely we've had uh, any issues. Issues and complaints are very very minimal, thank God. Um, but I know a lot of customers say, you know, like customers are right. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I have the little argument with the customer that's a little bit, um, you know, it's got different views, um, thinking that the, you know, the workers have done something, but I know who I've got here, so yeah. Yeah. I sort of put them number one. Yeah. Of course, yeah. of course, because you trust them, you trust in that's the... That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's right line of the business. Exactly. And you guys have made a lot of changes to the cafe, like I've noticed over the years, yeah. the food and the... Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, the food. The food yeah. I always say the foods pop up on the Instagram, so I'm yeah. just like, I want to come here specifically for the food. Yeah, well, I've got to give, <laughs> I've got to give credit to that um, that department, uh, my brother Charlie's and Janet, um, their ideas, and I've got to mention another girl that was involved. Um, her name's Helen. She was like, she was the chef, and she started, you know, she was worked up about doing something with the food. Me and yep. Charlie were sort of hesitant. If we start, you got to continue. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but she sort of gave us that, uh, that motivation and she started it off mm -hmm. and you know a bit of Janet's input and ideas and, and my brother Charlie so I'll give you that uh, so. it's good I think like you kind of uh, have ticked all the boxes but when people come here like, they feel relaxed yeah. like I said they're not you know, rushed they're enjoying like a good meal and on their cars like you know getting some TLC so, yeah. so it's all sort of like happening here so that's right you know, Crown Car Wash is like the place to be, it seems like. Well, that's why I was going to name it, you know, the place to be, you know. I mean, the place to be. It is the place well, to be. Place to be. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, either are like, you. <laughs> yeah. We've gained a lot of, uh, I think a lot of our customers, yeah. we've gained a lot of friendships yeah. Yeah. over the years. Yeah. I think people come in, they like to sit down and we have a bit of a chat when we can. And, yeah. And just the feeling, I mean, when I used to go get my car wash, it was all about picking the right spot where I feel. Yeah. It wasn't absolutely. about rushing, it was about sitting, brainstorming. Yeah. And coffee and relaxing than going. Exactly, yeah, so exactly. And you're right about the friendships. Like, I've, I've met Janet over here, so. Yeah. 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 Well, I've got friends there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been our customer and our friend for yeah. over, over 10 years, so. Yeah, so people come just to like, you know, come say <laughs> like hi to yeah, you guys, yeah. which is great. That's yeah, amazing. That, that, yeah, that's amazing. It became, it became like that. Yeah. It became a, sort of like a, a family house sort yeah. of type yeah. meet, yeah. meet up, you know, so yeah. people do really enjoy that and you can see they really enjoy it and you you feel good about it too so. absolutely now this is a family business yep. so a lot of family businesses you know can do like really well or then you know fall apart, or fall apart. so now how do you guys sort of like work together how's your dynamic and you know <laughs> <laughs> me and Charlie you mean yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think I think me and Charlie I think uh, a lot of people sort of look at us because we hardly communicate in a sense where we just know each other too well okay so it's like So you 
might have to cover me. I said, yeah, no problem. So it's just plain and simple with him. So we, we, we very, very, very rarely even have any heart discussions or anything. Okay. About it's sort okay. of like we just know each other too well. That's really good. We're very, yeah, we don't really have to talk about and, and to get to a, 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 an agreement. We yep. just sort of know each other. It's just like, yep, yep. Or he do says, what you need to do. How about we do this? Yeah. Or he says to me, we're going to do this. Yeah, no problem. It's just that's simple. That's great. Uh, that's the way to do it. I mean, if you can just get on the same level and the same playing field with everybody and the system sort of all connect then you've got no kinks in the house yeah yeah so, but it's not so smooth sailing in a lot of family no, no, businesses no. Uh, as we've seen so that's great i mean everyone has that everyone has that little quarrel or you know yeah. when you first start or, or you know indifference if there's no communication then it, it causes confusion yeah and confusion causes conflict absolutely so if you can if you can get the communication thing right in the beginning then everything else might Definitely, I think yeah, well, that's, that's, that's great. That's the way that's I look amazing. at it. I mean, like, yeah. if you ask me, if the cameras were not me and you asked me the same questions, I would tell you the same thing. That's what I believe and that's what I try to work my life on. So, well, we can uh, tell you that you're speaking from the heart. So, exactly, you know, thank it's you. It's genuine. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so. And everything you've built, you know, around you today is a testament to that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I said again, Indira is um, definitely a testament to like a long term exactly, like yes. client yeah, well, and a friend. Is, yeah. so. <laughs> well, Charlie yeah. told me, I don't know when they told me that there's, uh, he goes, oh, the girl, she comes in the uh, grey BMW. She's a, nice, she's a nice girl. She comes, I said, oh, and then I came this morning. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She sits there all <laughs> doing her thing. And, <laughs> but yeah, no, she's never like, hustling. she's just, yeah, it's just, We've got a lot of customers like that and a lot of clients and, and, and you sort of like, yeah, you just like it when you see people that just, they're just so relaxed and yep. they yep. live relaxed, you know? Yeah. You can't satisfy everybody. No, of course not. Um, not possible, we try to give our 100% to everything that we do. Um, you know, but it's understandable people have different circumstances or they wake up in the morning with a different kind of ache or pain or they, yes, they yes. get drunk by their wife in the morning. A wife's a wife? <laughs> why would they have oh. the husband? Set them or whatever, and they come out here and, and yeah, I mean, to blow some steam off. <laughs> and their response is different, so yeah. you need to try to understand. The first thing in anything is just understanding people. Yeah. You know? yeah. And uh, once you start on that, then everything else is plain and simple. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, so we have yeah. like, you know, Dr. Phil here <laughs> that can like, solve your life problems, okay. you know, like, serve you a great meal. Oh, get Tony okay. and Rody eating on it. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, don't get me started. <laughs> we, could, uh, yeah, we could talk all day. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna take you up on the offer, like Tony. Oh, no honestly, problem. during a session, session. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we hear like the Argila is gonna be um, introduced here. We're like big yeah. fans. Like that's really big in our culture as yeah. well. So I think like some like women frown upon other women like doing shisha, but like we're not bothered about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. Indira like recently posted um, one of the shisha shot and someone like on Instagram saying, oh, smoking is, uh, you know, injurious to my health. I'm like, yes, thank you for your like feedback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you know, all like good fun. We're looking forward to that. And it's great to see you as, you know, like changing things up yeah. and introducing something well, new. We're going to try different things and that. So yeah. Yeah. try to compensate for all different um, needs and what people like or what people want. Yeah. It's been on like a lot of our customers have asked us over the years to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, once you start something, you've got to be committed to continue with it. You can't start it and then next week and say, look, I haven't got it this yep. week. So yep. that's why we've sort of held off on certain things. So you need to be like consistent and yep. make sure you maintain that level and keep going up yep. and not take a step back. That's right. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, Tony, thank you so much Very welcome. for thank like you. joining us. And um, I think, you know, we have a third Mishti um, spot in the running in the next coming months, I believe. So I think you're a pretty strong contender. What do you reckon, <laughs> Indira? Of course. Of course. <laughs> no problem. You've got to fight with Rody for that one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, To Mishti, and drop into Crown Car Wash Cafe to catch Tony, and I'm sure you'll be seeing Indira here as well. So <laughs> we're going to be catching her on the fly. <laughs> no. So. Thanks Thank for tuning in. Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.